Sometimes the things that people do just absolutely blow you away. D from Nantucket, I so very much appreciate this. It literally blew me away, guy. Cordy73, which is California, for the Hobby Quarters uh, Black Friday Bring Cash. $2 super thanks. And then, again, Michael Van Kirk, 3576. Guys, I definitely appreciate that, and thank you very much for these super thanks. Well, obviously, I've just been kind of walking through the shop, talking with people, and checking out some stuff. But we definitely are here to check out this. We're going to take this battery, stick this over here for now. But we are here to check out this Arma Big Rock Crew Cab 6S. Comes from this bed, Larry, right here. The interesting thing is, is which one's tougher? <laughs> Let's take this and stick it over here. I'll get this one's used, too. Need more room. Definitely need more room. Open the back door for that one. Okay. That's all you have today. Can I express? Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good Thanksgiving. You too. $349.99. $699.99. We're going to grab this. Ah, bring this over to the counter. So, what do you get inside the box? You get this thing right here, which is the SLT3 basic radio, but it's better than the SLT2. It is a basic uh, three channel radio. So I'm assuming, I wonder, does this thing actually have, what does this thing have for receiver in it? Might be something I need to check out. The videos, videos and stuff that I've seen actually don't do this thing justice, man. It has just got what they call the look. This thing, has got quite the look. And I was taking a look at this hitch. The hitch really does have a look that it could be active at some point. It's got space underneath. It's got a lock right there. And when you look underneath, when you look underneath, you can see the screws. Just to take the hitch off. The body itself weighs a significant amount. Got a third brake light in there. You got rear lights. None of these are active. And then you have buckets out front. Under the hood, everything is black. EXB compatible. Solid brace front to back. Tower to tower brace, technically. From rear to front. Do have a cat pack here. Obviously the double little 6S wire. So if you had a couple of 2S packs or a couple of 3S packs, you could run those. Do have a switch that's on the side here. Switch on the side here. Seems to be. Whoop. Wait a minute. Switch is a little loose there. Side guards are nice and flexible, so that when you get that hit. The other thing I noticed too is that um, the body interlocks with these side plates. So when you look underneath, there's slots to where the body actually interlocks at three points with this flexible side guard. So I think that's pretty cool. Nice and flexible. So a lot of people are saying, hey, you know, this is just a, a, a fire team, reborn. Let's check that out. Clearly right away, 100%, as soon as I walked over to the fire team, I knew that it was not the exact same. This chassis is specifically designed for this big rock. So yeah, definitely not the same chassis. Now, are the arms the same? Looking at this arm right here, same side. We are looking at the rear, technically left side, or driver's side. Is it the same? It does look like the arm is the same. So there is going to be a certain amount of reusable parts, which actually is smart. Let's come around the front. When I say that smart, is what that means is that the hobby shop is already going to have the parts. So it's not like they're going to have to, they're not going to have to stock up on brand new stuff. So front arms, definitely looking at the same thing. Tires. Tires like almost waxy feeling. Like slick. It's got a slickness to the tire. Squish wise. Actually feels pretty good. Now see what that's doing? Look at that. See how when I squeeze the tire? I can't get the center to come up. So something about this tire, see that? See how you can't get the middle to come up? See how the middle kind of comes up? The middle is not coming up on these. 
So we are vented, very, very small vents, and I was able to get the center of the tire to come up. It just has a tendency to want to kind of fold in on itself, and it might be because of vacuum. So, but you can get that center of the tire to kind of come up, and you can see the vent right there. So we got one. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Two. Two tiny little vents. Taking a look at the back, it's got a massive, massive, Mountain. massive brace in the back here for that bumper. I think it's huge. There is an instruction manual here that we'll get into. Looks wise, they nailed this thing. And why do I say they nailed it? Well, come on, people know that, what do I have? I drive a big black. <laughs> This is a big black. The body is a little bit different to get on. So you have to obviously edge it forward because of the clip system. Let's get this wire out of here. God, this thing does look pretty. So it does come with the uh, the brand new upgraded ESC, a fan on the motor, Spectrum 2050 KV. So it's the SPM X SM1700. Chassis supports. So there's a lot of things I'm assuming that's a good question. Is the brace the same as the brace that's in this thing? Battery box here. Do not recycle. So I like these battery boxes. It allows you to be able to fit a number of packs in it. Never had the use for this though. It's here, it's for your balance plug. I've never, I've never actually used that thing. I don't mind this style of battery tray. Looking at the front here, I was trying to see was, because of the way things are tucked here, can this battery tray be slid back or moved? Because you do have a hole right there that's free. Is that just a hole to let debris out? Flipping the truck over, you can see these holes right here. So what this means is this battery tray can be relocated yeah you can absolutely relocate this battery so this entire battery tray which is one two probably three four five six could be more than that could be that one too but this entire tray can be shifted forward question is 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 the ESC box is the ESC box connected to this tray I think it is. So yeah, you could shift this forward to fit potentially a bigger pack, I guess, in there. S665 servo. This is a new servo. Does have a 25 tooth servo horn. And like I said, that says EXB compatible. That's not, that's not actually EXB, it's just compatible. But I am liking the theme that they're going. Everything is blacked out. Suspension wise, I'm very, it's plush. It's very, very plush. It's also very stiff, which is a good thing. That's got a huge amount of travel. It is not a fire team. Well, drifting's very niche, so you gotta have like a good spot. Yeah. There's not many. I want some that I can just like enjoy. Like, right. All right. So we're gonna see what we got here. So we've got uh, shims for the differentials. So this is another thing that Arma likes to do is they give you a higher speed pinion. We've got a couple of tools here. We've got a good size wrench, a small wrench, a couple of Allen wrenches, and they even give you Arma branded AA batteries, shock pistons. So it looks like they're giving you some valving for the shocks. They're also giving you something right there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, is this the spacer? No, it can't be. Some of these armors have spacers for the uh, front end. I don't think that's what that is. Maybe that's just a bottom plate piece. The whole thing of stickers, and it looks like we've got a warranty information card. We don't need any of that. So, this covers Creighton, Typhon, Notorious, Mojave. That's funny, it doesn't even say anything about the big rock. That's kind of weird. Uh, it does give you a nice little fold out thing here. These are nice. Well, that. 
So if you don't have the PDF version, yep, this is what's available ice online. Ice yeah. They're giving you a hard copy, which That's is kind of nice. Like the, you know, Something like this might be a good idea to take this and have it scanned and then print yeah. it up bigger. But yeah, isn't it funny? Thank you. So it's for this truck, but it's actually not. So, yeah, isn't that funny? It's, this isn't even the big rock. Okay. So is this a generic manual? Mojave Notorious Creighton Typhoon. Nothing about the big so rock. Looking for this size track. See if even these pictures uh -huh. look right. Well, no, I'm just no, they to don't. sure that I buy the right diameter. It does talk about the SLT3. Well, the over there. None of this stuff of really needs to know. Why don't you just jump insane. into pots real quick here? This yeah. isn't even yeah, this truck. Mojave, Notorious, Mojave. Notorious, Mojave, Notorious. That's kind of weird. So the manual that they provide with the truck, I guess this is the supplemental manual. This just basically gives you a general overall, but it's not specific to the big rock. Huh. All right, so I was checking out this card and there was some assembly required because obviously you could see the way the truck was inside the box. You gotta put the wheels on. They are asking for 7.3 foot pounds or just recommended torque, but it says right there, tighten nuts very tight. It does include that wheel wrench. I'm assuming you'd just be able to crank it. But you can see how deep that is in the wheel. It also does say information to get going straight out of the box. Please refer to the quick start, quick start guide section of the manual. And thank you for helping to reduce the carbon footprint. So, looks like the only thing you're going to be doing is putting the wheels on. So that's something to keep in mind is you're probably going to want to throw some Loctite on there seeing that they're talking about foot pounds or five newton meters. It's 3.7 foot pounds. There's a little cod thing here. So it's got like this big rock crew cab thing. So you've got support and showcase. So this must just be like a video showcasing the actual truck. Let's check it out. For some reason, my power, I'm having power issues with it traveling. That's the only issue I'm having. GoPro on. All right, so we've got, uh, what am I looking at? Go to camera. We'll scan this little thing here. So, <coughs> website, armarc.com. Yeah. And it looks like we've got the Big Rock. So it does bring you right to the main page of the Big Rock. And then it's got a little support section right there. Scan support. Check that out. And it just looks like it takes you right to the Big Rock right there. So it's got both Big Rocks. You can see it's on pre-order. We'll just click it, see what happens. Nothing. Oh, the add, it already added it to my... No, get out of here. Added two items. No, I'm good. All right, so it does open up. Availability information. Big Rock success is expected to ship mid-November for the gunmetal and red versions and mid-December for the white version. So we already got them in the shop, so... Man of support. So yeah, just all the typical stuff there. So... Ah, there it goes. So it's the SR315 receiver. Spectrum 665 waterproof digital servo for 7.4 volts for confident control. Spectrum brushless power system 6S with, like I said, that 2050. Oh, it's 150 amp. I think I said 160. So 150 amp ESC. And then the three colors that it's available in. Completion guide because they want you to run their packs. QR codes are everywhere. So let's scan this thing. Let's see what this thing does. So photo, scan that, go to web page. So for that, for the radio, it goes right to the radio. I ain't gonna accept no cookies. So at least it goes right to the radio. So that's kind of cool. 
So these stickers you probably could leave on there. Let's see, are there any more QR codes here? So I already did take that off. Pull up and push forward. We do have another QR code right there. There's another QR code down there for support. So that probably just takes it to the same support thing. But another one right here before you blast. So we take this thing and go to before you blast. Go to web page. And we're looking at. So because that's connected to the ESC, it's basically going to show you or give you. It's basically going to show you or give you the information that's about that ESC. So that's not too bad. It's a good thing, I guess, because if you had questions, I guess, about this ESC, at least it takes you right to it. So manual, manuals and support. So it looks like you could. Oh, looks like I could down. Looks like I could download. So, Firma ESC programming chart. So, let's see. Is that the one? 150 amp right there. So, yeah. So, for the 150 amp ESC, you know what I wonder? So, I wonder what program card could potentially plug into this thing. So, that's something we're going to have to check out. I kind of already suspect what card potentially is not going to work, but I think the surprise is what card actually does work. And that was kind of a shocker. But then, should it be? So, basically, what I was questioning was whether if... I am, because I am curious, out of the box, how is this thing set up? So, it looks like we are going to have to toss in a battery pack, and what's not cool is there not going to be any telemetry so the ic-ness of this doesn't matter so it kind of doesn't matter what battery you put in as long as it's got an ec5 or an ic5 connector and it does have the little pigtail so it's set up to go ahead and throw a uh, just regular 4s or a 6s pack or you could run a 5s pack if that's what you had all right so we do have the plug there is the fan plug right there but i suspect that that's not going to be what i need I do have two programmers. I obviously have the V2. I was curious to see, honestly, if one of these would plug in. Probably won't, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Yeah. But we've got this V2 here. To, I am going to just plug it right into this way. wire, which shouldn't be enough because there is no third this. wire, so there's no signal wire. There's just a positive and a negative. So that should not work. We're going to check it out anyway. Turn this on. Okay, see the light? So when the light flashes, it's at the center. So right here. Right there, at the center. So now we're centered in our throttle and our steering. And yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect up a battery. Now, because I'm in the shop and not at home, I didn't know where I could place this thing, and I do want to elevate the wheels just in case of an event. That's a safe way to do it. Yeah. Just watch these uh, rip your own. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Don't these feel kind of waxy? They do. I assume once you run them, they must be yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah, guy, you were watching a couple of guys caress tires, but come on, man. All right, so we've got the uh, Spectrum V2. Uh, program card. What I want to do is plug it in and see if this works because I know there are times when there are times when um, this trying to get that in there. Yeah, definitely the location of this ESC makes it very difficult to be able to get this program wire in there, but you know, what whatever. The program wire, just make sure your signal wire is facing out on this when you do this. And I'm just checking it because I want to see what this thing is kind of programmed at. Where we are. There we go. All right, so just always make sure your remote's on. Make sure the vehicle is elevated in some kind of way. We'll take the body and put that away. And the reason why I do that is because of paranoia. You know, back in the day when you would have a runaway. Not that it's going to be, but the mode is on. Clearly, you can see a little red light right there. 
V2 things plugged in. Gotta go turn it on. So it, it does have power. Horizon V2. Whoa. See what I mean? Just in case. So go ahead and hit select. Connecting to ESC. Please upgrade software. Yeah, they're like 20 bucks. Okay. Well, just by chance, what I want to do is I've got an old Hobby Wing program card. Go ahead and shut this off. The remote is still on. Signal wire on this one is the orange wire. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure your signal wire is facing to the outside when you do this. It's not going to blow it up. It's just make sure you do it the right way the first time. So make sure that that's plugged in. Half hour here. Why is out of the way? What the heck? I lose my mind in like five seconds. Here. That's a tight spot. There we go. All right. So Hobby Wing program card. We're going to click it on. So it is getting power. Are you kidding me? So item number one, running mode. Two would be forward reverse brake. Let's see how many item numbers we got here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You tell me. Alright, so here's the crazy part. So we've got the Spectrum V2, right? Here's Spectrum Firma, technically V2. And we've got the Hobby Wing program card. Just basically read everything that was in that. So what is that telling you? It's telling you something right there, man. Now, come on, guy. You gotta laugh. But there's one thing I'm curious about. Did you notice this part right here? We've only got eight items listed, but on the Hobby Wing program card, it gets all the way up to, what do you see? Number 11. So I'm not trying to be some kind of, like, conspiracy theorist or anything like that. I'm not trying to say that this is a rebrand of a Hobby Wing, but... Come on, guy. Does that mean that there's potentially things that can be unlocked with the use of an old Hobby Wing program card? Inquiring minds Inquiring want, to want to know. To know. To know. So yeah, guy, that's why I sometimes will do something that maybe somebody would think is kind of stupid you know why would you plug in uh why would you plug in an old hobby wing program card into an esc to see if it worked guy come on it's not gonna work that's why i do it i've got all these program cards and that's the reason why just by chance this new updated spectrum v2 version of whatever they got here it's funny how the hobby wing program card plugs into it and it seems like it gives you more options than just eight now i can't remember if looking into the manual whether if it said motor timing but i do know that at some point in program cards you can get the motor now does that really matter you'd still have to try to figure out like the programming what's actually going to work but this was the shop truck this ain't my truck so i ain't gonna i wasn't gonna screw with it basically that's what i'm saying if you're trying to get my opinion about this truck damn you're gonna have to watch i guess the running video or just go ahead and watch earl's video and i gotta tell you man earl earl does it right to an extent, man. Yes, when he opens up a box, you know, he does look like he's nitpicking something. It's because that's his nature guy. He's an automotive mechanic. He's been in the in the trades for a number of years, so certain things kind of, you know, get him riled up and pissed off, and yeah, every once in a while, he's like, ah, oh, look at this flimsy piece of plastic, where me, on the other hand, when I saw that side guard or that piece of plastic, I thought it was a good thing because I felt, okay, flexibility, rigidness with the body, locks in. I just, I don't know. It's just a, a different... It's just a different form or version of an opinion. What I am curious about is who else is gonna who else is gonna go ahead and join the B16 club. <laughs> I think that's a riot. And that's what I'm going to run with. So the Big Rock is no longer the Big Rock. It's the B-16. So if you're going to be part of the B-16 club, why don't you put a comment down below? Let us know. What Big Rock did you get? Did you buy into the 6S Big Rock? And I got to tell you, if you did, I personally think you made a good decision. This truck, granted I am biased. You know why I'm biased, guy. <laughs> I am biased. I'm biased because I own an F-350. Granted, my truck's not a dually, but it's still a similar representation to what that is. And can you turn it into a basher? Yeah, of course you can, guy. It's an armor. And do I, like I've said before, you people that use the word fanboy, man, I got a word for you. But that's just because of my age. I'm just, I'm, I'm different. I'm, I'm cut from, from different, different cloth. cloth. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a different way that I was raised and some of these weird words that people use.
shoes. You know what I mean? These hands are, you know, stonemason hands. I'd rather go build a wall than be a fanboy. What of a guy? But I'm really not a fanboy of anything. If anything, as far as that term or terminology goes, I am point blank a fan of just having fun. A fan of getting out there and ripping it. A fan of putting my AWS in the seat of different vehicles to see what it's like. So why limit yourself? I'm telling you right now, this Big Rock 6S, I mean, I have driven. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but yeah, guy, it's a pretty cool truck. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I did notice with the analytics that there's still people that aren't doing that. Just do it. If you click on the video, first thing you should do, just I don't care, guy. Even if you think the video sucks, just give it a thumbs up because what it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to help the algorithm. And that's kind of what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Like I always say, man, just get out there and rip it. You, come on, that wasn't long enough. What are you talking about? We're gonna get it dirty. God, stop wrecking my body.